Okay, so this is the last track day I went on. Okay, so this is the second one. Um, we've put a brand new clutch in, as I said on the first video. Um, so the clutch is perfect. What you will notice now is I'm able to rev the bike out uh, because there's no slipping clutch. I was hindered by that slipping clutch, wasn't I? Uh, and, and, the, and, and bits like that. So I'm able to rev the bike now. I know where I need to be on the bike, as in riding position. I know down the straights I need to crouch over more, and I know around the corners I need to get my backside shifted off the seat um, and look um, out towards where I'm going. Um, so on this one, I'm concentrating on doing the riding positions. I'm still not concentrating on going flat out everywhere because simply I'm not good enough. I can't. You know, that's going to come with time, and I appreciate that. But what I am trying to concentrate on is body position on the bike and also bike position on the track and these are all things that once I've mastered maybe three four five more track days then the speed will start to come you know and I'll start to get faster and faster um, so at the moment you will see I'm trying to shift my bum around a little bit I'm trying to duck down I'm trying to rev and use the gears um, as they should be used and um, more importantly I'm trying to use all the track um, so that's what you'll see going through this video um, hope you enjoy it uh, as much as I did uh, it was absolutely fantastic I'll just let you watch a bit of the footage now Uh, okay, so coming to the end of this now, hope you've really enjoyed it. I'm going to put another video on of the same track day, just of a different camera angle. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I'm going a little bit faster than I was on the first one. Okay, and when I go over the brows, there's three brows at Alton Park. And, it, and when I went over each brow, the front end went very light, obviously. And, um, but the front wheel wobbled. Okay, and I haven't got a steering damper. So one thing I have learned from this is that I'm going to have to um, buy a steering damper. And I'm going to put the next video on and show you because you can see the wobble um, on the front tyre. And it could turn into a tank slapper and we don't want that. So look out for the next one.
Okay, so this is the other camera angle that I'm telling you about. And the reason why this is a good camera angle is because it shows um, further on in the video, I think it's like four minutes 50 or something like that. Um, I go over the crest of, the, of one of the brows and the front wheel wobbles. It doesn't look a lot and you've got to really concentrate to see it, but it feels a lot through the handlebar and I was talking to the techies down here and they say it's so easily turned into a tank slapper and if it does, there's no recovery. So that is why I need a steering damper. Um, the other thing you're going to see on this video is um, sort of what I'm really conscious of and it is etiquette, sort of track etiquette. And that is uh, if I'm going to pass somebody, if I can't do it down a straight, um, I ain't going to do it because it's, you know, some people come diving up the inside of you and diving around the outside of you and they're doing it to us um, all the time because we're a lot slower than them. But it's unnerving, you know, and if you're a new track rider, it's all right if you're an expert. Yeah, it's just no big deal. But I'm not a racer, I'm not an expert, I'm a beginner, I'm a novice. So you'll notice if I do pass people, it's down the straights where I feel that I can do so without putting any danger to them and more importantly to me. Um, you know, I think, you know, I'm going to be in this novice group for quite some time yet. So um, it's all about, you know, doing it nicely, enjoying the day. You know, I'm not out, we're not timing these laps, although... I wouldn't even want to at this stage, just embarrass myself. But uh, it's all about having a good time, enjoying yourself and uh, making sure you go home in one piece and you're ready for work the next day. Um, as I say, I'm going to show you the camera angle on the front wheel wobble. I think it's about 4 minutes 50. Um, so I'm just going to shut up for the moment, let you just watch the video. Hope you enjoy it and I'll cut back in in a, in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, we're, we're coming up to uh, nearly the point where uh, I want to just point out the, the front end wobble because I'm not running a steering damper and it is my next purchase before I go out uh, next time. Uh, we are talking about overtaking as well before and obviously this guy in front, um, I felt I was a tiny bit faster than him maybe so let's wait for him to go around the corner, make sure he's got plenty of room and then just uh, go down this straight here and just on the... On the uh, on the outside of him, nice and safe, no chance of any of us getting into any trouble and that's how I like to do it. Okay, I'm just going to go around the chicane here and then at the brow of this hill just watch the front tyre. Uh, it's coming roughly now, just watch the front tyre. Right, that violent wobble there, that unnerved me dramatically, uh, steering damper needed. 
Okay, I know that probably wouldn't have unnerved a lot of people, but it did to me. And then when they were talking about tank slappers and all that, I thought, you know what, just buy a steering damper, get it on, eliminate it, and then I can start increasing uh, speed and, and technique again. So all these little things you don't even think about until you get on the track and you, and you start to do it. But uh, right, I hope you've really enjoyed that. I'm out again next month. Hopefully I'll have a, well, I will have a steering damper on by then. Um, and we'll do a couple more videos. Um, any questions, please ask. Uh, as I say, it's, it's all, all aimed at, at sort of people that want to do a track day like I wanted to do a track day. You know, all the experts will be looking at it and saying, God, oh my, I could run faster than that. Yeah, okay, when, you know, it's not about that. It's about anyone that wants to get involved in it or is a bit nervous about it. You know, if we can help in any way we, we can, then by all means, come and speak to us or comment. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, look out for the next one. We'll keep you posted on, uh, on AIDS track day adventures. <laughs>